I like to sing, dance, pretend, and I like to have fun, 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 Oh man, a face massage right before you got to do like some speaking. It's yes. really, really good for you. Did you do your tongue twisters today? Ha! 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 Tiny Tinseltown titties! Adjust your bust before it combusts. Move your titties around for my pleasure! De Move your tit tit titties! Hakuna your tatas! Yeah. Um, yes. I, I, I feel like um, it's, it's very booming and good today. I believe so. So when uh, we're ready to go, it'll be very nice. I in, Indeed. We're sounding good in the headphones right now. Sure. Um, we're sounding good in the headphones. Oh, let me see. I, I have not tried them on. Well, we got a uh, we got a band joining us today, so we got to make sure that our headphone levels are good. Absolutely. You know, we have joining with us today um, our Twin Sages. Twin Sages. Yeah, so when we start, remember, um, I'm going to say, um, hey, Brent, what's the name of the band? And you'll say? Twin Sages. All right. Now, so how, did, how did you find them? Oh, um, so last night we're doing this... Um, you know, here at uh, Zeno, we're producing this new show, um, Ultimate Jam Night Life yeah, at the Whiskey. Yeah, at the Whiskey. It's awesome. And I ran into this dude uh, outside, and um, I'm like, um, hey, man, uh, you want some of this uh, weed? And he's right. like, uh, oh, yeah, sure. So then I started talking to of him. Of course. Turns out uh, he's in a band, and um, they're out here from Austin doing like a like vacation time, I guess. But uh, I basically uh, not tricked him into coming in. Did they, they perform last night? Uh, they didn't get a chance to. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. There was a lot of disruptions to the schedule last night with, like, fires and... Uh, like fire alarms or actual no, fires? No, man. There's, like, like, a lot of fires going on in, uh, in like, uh, California right oh, now. Oh, you, you mean the, the wildfires? I thought you meant, yeah, like, yeah. at the whiskey itself no, no, there no. was a fire, and I was like, holy shit. No, no. That, that, that'd be pretty fucked. You're right. Yeah. I'm sure that would have made the news. Absolutely. I, I watched it this morning. I saw plenty of stuff about the wildfires, but nothing about uh, the whiskey. So, Well, um... Are we ready to, um... Oh, we're on! Oh. Okay. Well, hey, man. There we go. Yeah, I guess we are. Hey, that is, and that's me! That is you. This is, this, is, this is us. We're here on Grand Theft Audio. Indeed. On uh, Zinna.tv, live from Hollywood. Zinna.tv, the name that shall stand. The, the test, test of time. time. Uh, we are um, proud to have you guys uh, joining us. We know there's many choices in your goofing off, and we're very... Uh, you know, happy that you've decided to spend some of your goof off time with us. Who are you? Oh, I'm Jake Belcher. Yes, and I'm Brant Thoman. And um, hey, who do we have on today's show? Twins Ages. That's right, man. Hey, like, I, um, I nailed that pretty good. Yeah. I'm glad we practiced beforehand. But if you don't tell them, they wouldn't know. No, exactly. You know, like um, so. Blew it, man. We got know. Andy, Max, and Alex. That's right. In. Uh, so. All three of them. They're I'm, three I'm piece a, power uh, trio. I'm impressed with myself having remembering their names. It, that's very good. You yes. know, that's very good. Way better than this guy I used to have. Yes. Remember um, my previous co-host? Our previous co-host? Well, it was, okay, look, he was our previous co-host. Yes. Right. But now he's my previous co-host. Okay. That's what I'm going to go with. Sure. Because semantics, and they count. Okay, man, uh, so what has your week been like? Uh, it's been pretty decent. Well, uh, it's been the best thing in it. Uh, women's volleyball. Okay. Olympic volleyball. The women's uh, uh, not not the the beach volleyball has been nice, but honestly, the the uh, the ladies that that what's been uh, good about it? Oh, like, it's has it been competitive action. It has been that, and the and uh, the the lovely. I just uh, being tall myself. I yes. love tall, attractive women, yes. and uh, on a lot of these teams, there are a lot of these tall, attractive women, uh, especially the Brazilian team. I was uh, very impressed with those ladies, uh, both. In their play, they are they were the, the they were the defending Olympic Olympic champions, and they lost last night in five sets to China. Who are, are uh, you watching this at home in uh, regular definition? No, no, no. I'm watching it in high definition. I, I was able to move my TV in in the last week. That's I, good. I, moved, I moved my my high def TV into the into the That's house. Good. The last time I was there, you were watching on the low def. Yes. And I was like, oh, ugh, yeah, boy. no kidding. No like, that won't kidding. be good. That's not good enough for Olympic uh, ass action. Exactly. 
Is, is it a little bit sexist, though? Not even a little bit sexist. Is it completely sexist to just be like, oh, I'm really enjoying that? No, because I'm also a former volleyball player. That, so that I do appreciate I appreciate okay, the sport, too, but because I've been watching men's volleyball as well. Yeah. It, the action there is Are they good looking, too? Sure, I if guess. you're like a tall lady, would you be like, "Oh man"? Absolutely. I, I think the tall ladies. I think any ladies would find a lot of these guys. Come on, they're all in their twenties. They're sure. all fit. They're all tall and handsome. They're. J- I Where mean, do you think they rank, though, body-wise, against the other Olympians? Uh, I think I honestly, in regards to and, and uh, now sounding sexist, yes. In regards to, from ladies to ladies, yes. They're the w- these women are the ones I find to be the most attractive. Hmm. I mean. Th- Physically, facially, everything is just they're they're just beautiful women on these teams. I've watched I've watched uh, track and field. I've watched gymnastics, and there are some lovely young ladies on okay, the man, gymnastics track team. Track and field, yes, has now been ruined by high definition for like the sexiness of the people. Because like when you watch them run in that slow motion, even even like the toughest body when it's running in slow motion, it still like jiggles a lot. It jiggles you know? enough that like, you notice that you. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah. And um, it's kind of been ruined. But it, it, it seems kind of messed up to, you know, point out that, uh, oh, there's all these hot chicks there. Well, at the same, I mean, I, 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 I guess I have to apologize for it, but the media is doing it uh, as well. I mean, uh, the day that uh, uh, Michael Phelps tied with two other guys for the silver medal, we had an American women's uh, swimmer whose name is escaping me only because it's Michael Phelps, and <laughs> everybody knows him. But yeah. she she broke a world record. I know who she is. And she, but, but what's the point you're trying to make here? Well, what I'm saying that is we like, didn't pay attention to her as much as him. That the newspaper. Well, and now you don't even know her name. I know. I understand that. That's terrible. I know. That's terrible. But uh, I don't know any other swimmers' names either. Michael Phelps, I know is because he's the only he swimmer is, you know. Yes. No. Uh, no. Lockie B because he because he was apparently uh, robbed at gunpoint. Although that now is in question. Yeah. So, but besides that, I really don't know the names of other Her name swimmers. is Katie Ledecky. Thank you. And she has the potential, uh, if you focus out her future, to possibly catch Michael Phelps someday. So she's the great hope of, like, um, somebody actually beating his record someday. Right. But I understand the point you're trying to make there of, like, oh, well— we're giving Michael Phelps all this well, he, credit, he, the, but you still got to like kind of know the rest of it, I, and, like I, what her name is and you're, stuff. You're absolutely right. Otherwise, I, you can't have any like outrage over. But it. I, well, I I don't really have outrage over. It. I'm just saying I'm watching and seeing it, it when when the headline is Phelps ties for second, and then Ledecky breaks world record. Why isn't that switched? The world record is a huge thing to break that and to win the gold medal doing that. Boom! He won silver. He great. He tied for he tied with two other guys. But he's still is setting the record for the most ever medals. So like was that wait, wait was that that was medal? his last medal ever? No, no, didn't he? He won one for the four by one hundred, didn't he? No, I think that's that what came after celebrating. Like no, no, he, he no, no, because he came in. No, he when I see three then, other guys, there were, then, there were it's two. still setting the record for the most ever. Absolutely, the next one he won, he advanced his record. Yeah, he, but like exactly. so, which means more: the person who's now won the very most ever, or someone who has. Had a uh, world record in one event. Well, they're both world records technically. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so one is in one event, right? And the other is in a plethora of uh, styles and, and other events. Yeah. Sure. So I still think that, even though I saw a lot of ladies post their anger over that issue, right? They're misguided on this one because that's still the most ever uh, by anybody, like a man or a woman. So you know, everyone, everyone needs to stop being uh, mad for sport. Yeah. Like, people log on to something and be like, ah, what can I be mad about today? Yeah. I'm going to find some bullshit. Especially when it comes to the Olympics. I mean, sure. the, did you heard the story about the 5,000-meter the uh, runners that, that tripped up and injured themselves. One of them injured themselves. No. Okay, great story. Yeah. So, uh, New Zealander and American, they, cl- yeah. they, they trip each other up. Uh, the American helps the New Zealander get back up and says, come on, we got to finish this. And so the New Zealander goes on. It comes, turns out that the American, she had actually injured her knee much more severely than originally thought. And so the New Zealander went and finished the race, didn't qualify for the finals, but she went back out on the track, not helping her, because if she helps her, she's disqualified completely, but mm-hmm. but rooted her on to finish the race. The American did. The Olympic Committee decided, because of this this wonderful showing of the Olympic spirit, they were both told that they, could, they w- would be able to participate, if healthy, in the finals. So the runner from New Zealand will be in the finals, uh, the American, unfortunately, has this happened yet? This like, happened. Do we, do it just know, happened two days ago. But do we know like what happened? No, the, in the, f- the final. I believe the finals is tomorrow because mm. it's every other day. So it, it just happened yesterday. Well, I hope that neither of them have like this help that the Olympics has given them wrongly letting them into the finals. And do you think it's wrongly? Yeah. Really, you you think that someone showing true Olympic spirit 
uh, the spirit of sportsmanship. Look, injuries happen and they knock you out. But this is uh, okay. Like, things happen. So I like, get that. Why are we putting this person who doesn't really deserve to be in the finals there? Like, hey, uh, hope your we, knees better. We don't know if they weren't because the, because of the trip up and th- these trip ups do occur. You're right. Okay, then I'm just going to start falling at con- the starting starting line of every event and be like, oh, just push me through again, accident. But they're not going to. Because you, they might. What, who, really, you, there's not been precedent set. No precedent. But you've uh, you've just said oh, that you're going to do this. This is this is them right there. This is them right there. Diagostino of defeat. Right. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> right. Hey, that's what it is, right? But she she's the American that uh, that had to that was actually taken off in a wheelchair after she crossed the line. No USA. No USA. No USA. I mean, that, I I don't like that our country is using these tactics. To get themselves into the finals, I think we should boycott the Lungastino chick and uh, not root for you her. You don't wrong. have to because she's not going to be participating because her knee was so severely injured. <laughs> okay, she good. won't be. She okay, won't be good. participating. Okay, good. But Phew. if if this like if this been accident had back occurred, regularity. Yes, but if that accident occur didn't occur, yeah. we don't know if they wouldn't have have qualified. Yeah. So well, I mean, it's I like the gesture from the Olympic Committee Ugh. to try Ugh. and say, hey, Ugh. yeah, gestures are yucky. Uh, yeah. Let's be grown-ups and adults. This is a grown-up and adult decision that was made. Okay, there's been another grown-up adult decision made. What's that? And that's that we have to go to a goddamn commercial. Man, this was just getting good. I know. So we come back on the other side, and we're going to have with us... Twin Sages. That's right, man. So um, stick around. you got like two minutes. Uh, you're probably going to learn about the funniest girl in Hollywood. Jason Stewart here for Zena TV. On the show Absolutely Jason Stewart every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Big guests, everyone from the gayest to gay to the straightest to straight. David, uh, what was his name? He's absolutely Jason. He's absolutely gay. He'll absolutely brighten up. And it's uh, Mary Carey, of course, politically naughty with Mary Carey. I'm always naughty. I'm always politically. My behavior is always politically, politically naughty. naughty. I'm never politically correct. I'm Dr. Dr. Drew, Drew hi. <laughs> oh, I'm so hey guys, how are you? It's all teary-eyed, doctor. I know. She wishes she could live at rehab. <laughs> but only if Dr. Drew's there. Obviously, sure. for someone like... You know, this little some groping might be inappropriate, but I like the flirting. Well, and stuff. When I, when I, I walked in, know. you shoved my head in your <laughs> No! Are you going to sue me? <laughs> Get Politically Naughty with Mary Carey, Mondays at 4 p.m. Did you know that 67% of American women are size 14 and above? You mean they look like this? Yeah, girl. So then where are we in television and film? And where are we in fashion magazines and clothing stores? Yeah. So we want to help out entertainment and fashion and media. Catch the F up. Watch us on Plus This live every Thursday at 7 p.m. on Zena TV. What we do here is go back, 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 back. This is Slink Johnson, a.k.a. Black Jesus, B.K.A. Godzilla Lung. Yo, what's up? This is Craig Wayne. What's good? It's your boy Marcus Parker, and you're watching Z. Z Hollywood TV. <laughs> Party people, you're back here on Grand Theft Audio Radio. This is Jake Belcher. And I'm Brant Thoman. Uh, we're coming at you on uh, Zinna.tv, and uh, we're live here in Hollywood. Uh, one thing about being uh, live in Hollywood all the time is you're uh, never quite sure what you're going to run into. Indeed. And uh, Brent knows, uh, long-term listeners know, if I'm on the street, I'm talking to somebody. Yes. And uh, standing out front of uh, the whiskey last night at uh, Zinna.tv's new show, uh, Ultimate Jam Night Live from the Whiskey, and I uh, ran into... Uh, 
a representative of this band then got introduced to the rest. Uh, they are out of uh, Austin. They are um, a uh, multiple-time winner of, like, a Battle of the Bands there. Oh, and, nice. Um, they won an award here in uh, L.A. for their music. We'll get a chance, I'm sure, to learn more about them. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce. Uh, we're going to go from uh, on the screen uh, left to uh, right. We have Alex. Howdy, howdy. Good we have... Um, Andy. Oh, and Max. Close. Motherfucking Max. dickhead. <laughs> yeah. Andy. And Andy, yeah. I don't All know. Right. Okay, uh, so uh, I think like the drummer should be like, uh, you know, drummer's Max. Drummer's okay. Drummer's Andy. Drummer's, <laughs> god damn it. Here's the deal, man. Up, man. I like to pretend that I don't smoke a lot of weed. But um, I you smoke. You just keep pretending. Just keep pretending. I'll, I'll trick everybody at home and they won't uh, know. Uh, how are you guys doing tonight? Doing awesome. awesome. Um, uh, thank you uh, so much for coming in. I think I'm gonna need you a little bit closer on this one. Oh, okay. Though. All right, great. Uh, so uh, tell us, uh, you know, a little bit about you guys. How'd you get together? What are you doing here? All that type of jazz. Um, we are actually childhood friends. Like we used to be neighbors when we were like in kindergarten. Yeah, I think I went from kindergarten all the way through like eighth grade with you or something like that. Grade school for sure. Mm -hmm. After that, I don't freshman know year of high school. Yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> It was crazy. And then, so yeah, we've known each other forever. Sure, it's fun, <laughs> it's fun to do things with long-term friends. Brant and I uh, have been with each other since uh, uh, fifth grade. Fifth grade, so it's, it's, it is more entertaining to do things with people that you have things in the past in common with. But you guys are a little bit closer than, like, uh, you know, uh, friends. The name of the band is Twin Sages. Is there a reason it's called Twin Sages? Uh, we're twins. Oh, yeah, there you go. That, uh, Identical twins. Sure. Uh, yeah. Sage is like wise man. Sure, sure. I get the oh. idea of uh, Sage. Um, Pretty cocky name. Sure. Twins. Uh, <laughs> it, is it really identical twins? Do you guys do your best to kind of like look different? Because I noticed you have different well, haircuts. If I like, if I shave. Sure. You just couldn't tell the difference. It'd be that close. Yeah. 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 I would imagine um, there has to be something about being a twin where you kind of want to be as different as possible. But there's also got to be the other side where you want to make sure that, hey, don't get a face tattoo, like on this side where we're never going to look alike this <laughs> again. Like, don't go get that Mike Tyson thing on your face or something. He already half messed uh, it up. He just got a new tattoo well, on his I, I actually oh. do have the Mike Tyson. I'm just wearing a shitload of makeup. And sure. And Very smart of you, yeah. you know. Like, I, I can barely tell. Yeah. I can barely tell. That's good. That's good. You really did it. Yeah. Yeah, so um, what brought you guys out here to L.A.? Well, um, it was kind of like a random thing, I guess. We were – kind of felt like getting out of town a little bit and they called me one morning at 10 o'clock and they're like hey man you want to go to LA and I was like sure why not you know we'll see what see what's going on are we gonna go right now I was like yeah Max went to go take a nap so whenever he wakes up we'll just book it out to LA and drive. that's pretty spur of Very spontaneous <laughs> road trip yeah we so left no, at 6 p.m. last uh, Friday right, so. we, we were gonna leave earlier but Max's uh, nap went a little longer so you know we, we just we just uh, I mean we did waited. you guys at least talk about it before for um, nap time, or were you able to communicate? Uh, it I woke from sleep? up and at like 2 p.m. Um, and I was like, "Hey, man, you want to go to L.A.?" He's like, "What?" I was like, "No, I'm serious." And he's I, like, "Yeah." I didn't yeah. believe you. I didn't believe you. I thought you were joking. I was being serious. And he's, well, obviously, because here we are. Here we are. <laughs> so you loaded up the instruments and uh, just road tripped it out here. We brought a, our instruments. Yeah. Oh, you guys have your instruments around you now. They're they're nearby. I don't know if they're if we have them on us per se, but they're they're nearby mm -hmm. if need be. Like nearby enough that we could be like, hey, uh, if you guys could play a song for us, oh, man. If, God. if you must. Well, the truth you know. is okay. the truth is we actually you know we don't actually play. We're not really a band. I just thought it'd be cool to be up here and pretend, you know. Sure, sure. It, uh, did you shot those videos and posted them a while ago just to kind of like make the goof even bigger and better? Yeah. We paid somebody to play all the music for it. No. <laughs> Josh, they, they duped you good last night. Out inside, all they had to do was hang out in front of the whiskey and like, hey, would you like to be on our Dude, show? It, and they're like, yeah. sure, we'll say we're a band. It's crazy in front of the whiskey. You're it right. It always is. Um, come on, guys. I mean, let's, uh, you can do this, right? You want to hear something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. All right. I know. think we can pull we'll Okay, they said yes. They said yes. Yes. Uh, Brent, um, let's, uh, okay, uh, can you guys get what you need? Yeah. Great. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Make us. Sure, sure. Well, we're doing it then. I'm going to pull out their shot just a little bit because I know that they'll have like um, Star Mints in their hands. All right, man. Get some live music. Ben. Sure. A few episodes since we've had like um, since somebody in Keaton or. Um, I know. I, th I, that was the last time, wasn't it? I think it was, man. I think you had one just before that, just before I got was able to get back on as sure. a co-host. We've, we've, so. we've done quite a few live music sure. people on here. Indeed. But, uh, Over the years, many. Sure, sure. Sure. 
Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll be coming in here. Uh, okay, I'm going to pull up uh, what I had on. Okay, so uh, what was the award you guys won? Just because I, I, I forgot that Best one. Rock Song at the Academy of Music Awards in oh. Los Angeles. That's uh, wow. Or the Lemon Falls, actually. Uh, oh, really? Cool, man. That was a, a tra the uh, part of the video, uh, the first video that we played. Yeah, yeah, and we recorded that all in our home studio. We have a studio at home in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. Did the, Our friend made the video. Sure. Our place. We also have another video that we just recently shot and put up on uh, YouTube. It's uh, for the song that we're about to perform acoustically here today. And we shot it entirely on a GoPro ourselves in the studio and in Bastrop and various places around Austin. All right. I think yeah. that we have a clip from uh, that video also coming oh, up. Yeah? So people nice. get a chance to see the well, difference between like yeah, the, acoustic the acoustic and, and um, the badass the fucking heavy out. metal one. So some of the other things <laughs> you were telling me last night, you also won like something in Brazil? Oh, yeah. yes. They did, yeah. Oh, uh, you guys did. Okay. So, so um, uh, what was that? We, uh, my brother and I were in Amazonas, um, Manaus, which is the Amazon in Brazil. And we played, and we won Best Band. So there was a music competition. We actually played, we played a bunch of shows there. Um, that was amazing. Oh, that sounds pretty I've neat, I've never man. felt more energy from people. They just threw so much energy at us, and uh, it was incredible. Well, um, uh, pretty dope, man. Uh, so, uh, again, what, what are you guys going to be playing here, then? We're going to be playing a song called Passed Around. Passed Around. Dog. Okay. Uh, is there anything uh, you guys need before we get ourselves started? Uh, foot rub? I would no? love a foot rub. Frank? A rub. really fat Beer. joint. So sure, we'll do that, that after the, the show. Joint, <laughs> joint can make sure that happens later. Uh, I got old arthritic hands. Sorry, the foot rubs out. <gasps> it's all good, I man. can't do anything. <laughs>
We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. That was Twin Sages performing live here on Zinna.tv. And we're the ladies of Suicide, Suicide Girls, Girls Radio. Radio, the world's leading BYOB radio show. Pour a glass of your favorite tipple and tune in on Wednesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. as we discuss life, liberty, and the pursuit of free nipples. Oh, just flash it would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? People think flashing your tits is easy, right? And it's actually kind of hard. It's uh, Mary Carey, of course, politically naughty with Mary Carey. I'm always naughty. I'm always politically. My behavior is always politically, politically no. naughty. I'm never politically correct. I'm Dr. Dr. Drew, Drew hi. <laughs> oh, I'm so hey guys, how are you? It's all teary-eyed, doctor. I know. She wishes she could live at rehab. <laughs> but only if Dr. Drew's there. Obviously, sure. but someone like, you know, is a little too groping might be inappropriate. But I like the flirting. Well, and when I, when I, I walked in, know. you shoved my head in your no! Are you going to sue me? <laughs> Get Politically Naughty with Mary Carey, Mondays at 4 p.m. So I'll tell you this much: that video is much better looking um, online. Somehow I messed it up when I re when I saved it today. Uh, they actually have a few videos on there. So hey, you guys have something new to watch. Uh, so we're back here on uh, Zinna.tv. TV. This is Jake Belcher and I'm Brant Thoman. And uh, once again, we are with um, Twin Sages. Uh, introduce you guys ourselves uh, across one more time. Alex, I play bass for Twin Sages over here. All right. I'm Max. I play guitar and I sing. Andy, I play drums and sing, and sometimes I play guitar. All right. Yeah, you certainly did a pretty good job of sometimes playing it right there. Thank you. Honestly, that was pretty <laughs> awesome. Actually, it was a great song. Thank you guys so much for, for performing for us. I yeah. know. No, we appreciate you guys having yeah, us, seriously. definitely. Thank you. I dug the hell out of it. Uh, so, um, you know, what's, like, your guys' goal and stuff? Like, I see that you guys say that there's a fresh album coming out in the fall. That's right. Um, so, uh, I'm sure that'll be, you know, and that has to be pretty high on your list of priorities and things that you're working on right now. Absolutely. It's, it's We're incredibly past due. We, we got an East Coast tour coming up starting September 29th, and we're trying to finish this album before then because we want to give it to everyone. Mm -hmm. Sure. I, I mean, it, it makes a lot more sense to uh, have something to support the tour as well, you know, like. As yeah. opposed to, uh, in a couple months from now, we'll have something. Yeah, sure. exactly. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. We also have a. We're hoping to finish up a new song that we just recorded, and it's almost done. Once it's finished, we're gonna get the Vampire Court in Austin to help make another video with us, and so see if that 
can catch people's attention too. Boston is such an interesting um, area. Like, what is the vampire court? I mean, they're vampires. It is what you think. I mean, is, is it really like a court, like where they go and they're like, charges against you? Oh uh, no, it's not. It's not like it's no, not like I that. I imagine it's, it's like a collection <laughs> of, okay, of people who who are who it's, are vampires. They, yeah, they, they it's more like a badass collection of really artistic, you know, goth people. open people. No, they're not no? goth. They're, well, that's they're good. They're vampire. They, Actually, they're a lot of different really walks of life. Too. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, it can't. It, they can't all be. Um, you know, homely Come on, they, no. Gr- growing no. up in Pasadena in the '90s, we had our we had our group of friends that were their own little vampire court. They liked to dress like vampires. I don't know, man. I think that I ignored them somehow completely. Like they didn't. Uh, really I, I I remember seeing them come around and and again, beautiful people. You were just like, wow. Yeah, you, but I, I think it has to do with the dress as well. But I, is I it mean, because they avoid the sun and their skin's all like uh, <laughs> pure white? And like, so what do you do about sure. black vampires in that I, case? I I <laughs> just. Throwing that out there. Hey, look, I don't want to say anything racist. So I don't think they <laughs> exist. Okay? You don't think there's such a thing as blackulas? I, uh, you know that. The, well, now that you said that, it sounds like that they must do. exist. They do yeah. exist. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Yes. My tattoo artist is. So, somehow I. And they're not. They're not considered African American vampires because there's also British blackulas. <laughs> Those are like <laughs> British. I haven't American. heard that yet. I haven't heard that yet. Well, it's yeah. a new thing. They can't be. They can't just be here and just in America. I have to. I, I oh, have no. to believe blackulas have to be everywhere. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. But yeah, so we're I don't think we're this, doing is, that. this conversation is going to be good. <laughs> sure. You know? The only bad things I think can continue. Yeah, we're making a video with them. You guys will see it. You'll see it firsthand what it's all about. Sure. Sweet. Is this the person you're telling me made the video with the tattoo? Or get, like, giving their. Uh, yes. Uh, on, yes. On, on yeah, on. it is. It is. Yeah. So, um, you know, people will watch anything. I mean, so many people out there are watching this. Hopefully. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's a, no, that's they, they are. are. They, will be. they are. Of course, they are. They want to see us. See, I don't. Okay, I bet uh, that's true. They're very excited about that. But I don't particularly, you know, enjoy my viewers or those people are like. You don't like your viewers? Not really. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't have any. I don't need to sell them a CD at the end, you know. So like, I don't have to like be nice to them or something. So you know, sometimes how it's many the best viewers way. have you met? Many. Oh. I haven't met any. You haven't? Not that I know of. They've never actually like, actively come up and said, hey, you're on that show. Huh. Well, uh, maybe you intimidate people. I don't uh, know. That's quite possible. I don't know what it's to the say Hawaiian shirt that does it. I don't know what to say about that, man. I really I feel like this whole thing is like crazy land now. Crazy land it is. Oh, yeah. It is L.A. It is L.A. Uh, okay, have you guys enjoyed it out here? Is, okay, what's been the best thing you've seen in L.A. so far? So far, Whiskey Go Go has yeah. been the best thing. This is my first time in LA, actually. So, well, I guess if I was going to say that, this would be the best thing that I've seen so far. Oh, sure. Oh, well, well, thank you. Know. you thank yes, you. Yes. Oh, that yeah. dick sucking felt delicious. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank but, you. but How was, you guys also went to the Viper Room last night, right? We were going to the Viper Room, yeah. and we got talked out of it. Oh, how'd that happen? Uh, someone told us about some horrible things to avoid over there. Hmm. Yeah. Now I'm super interested. Okay, let's not. We, we won't say it's about the Viper Room because we don't want to get sued. Right. But there's a place over in Hollywood. Let's just call it the VR Room, uh, the, the the V Room. That's what we'll call it. V Room. What'd you hear about the V Room that made you not want to go in? If we go over there, we will die. Oh man. Oh. Yeah. It's cursed, supposedly. Oh. That's what we heard. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in there, and I'm I'm pretty alive, so I don't know, but. But maybe maybe it's perform. I don't know. Maybe performers are the ones that are that become cursed there. Who knows? Very possible. Very, very, very possible. It's scary. I also heard don't buy drugs in that room. Yeah. You're in rock and roll. Do you still have to buy drugs? Like, can't you just get on don't, stage? Don't, don't accept anything. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, really? You, yeah. Isn't that how you guys met? Yes. But <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you want that wasn't in the V room, though. That wasn't at the V room. Sure, you know, that was right. somewhere else. That was on the street. <laughs> right. <laughs> the way safer on the street, obviously. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> no, you're still alive. Like uh, I'm here. I'm kicking against the wall. Yeah. Like uh, I wasn't. Um, It'll kick in soon. Doused or, <laughs> yeah. You're not dosing anybody, fortunately. <laughs> Nothing bad like that. Okay, uh, so where can people learn more about you guys? Our website, twinsages.net. Yeah. Oh, you got uh, the dot net. We net. do. Dot net. Dot com. Yeah. Um, does twinsages.com exist for somebody else? It, we know. Is it we, a tarot card reading the, company okay, or something? The truth is we have a twinsages.com, yeah. but we forgot the password in 2012. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we just, we, we suck at coding and sure. we don't know how to figure that shit out. I need to pay someone to do it for that us. That sucks, man. The world that we live in now, you have to be excellent at whatever it is that you do and good at the internet too. 
Like, well, Definitely. You have yeah. To, it's the internet's yeah. the new marketplace. Like yeah. if yeah. you if you can't put it online, then you're kind of you shooting yourself you know, in like the it, foot it, it just a little bit. Fucking exists. Yeah. You can't do the internet. It's there. Now, how much longer are you guys planning on being out here in LA? I'm only planning on being here. I got a return trip on to Austin tomorrow. Uh, he's flying I, back because he doesn't want to drive with us. Yeah, I, I the truth. I gotta take care of my dog. Obviously. I gotta take care of my dog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My um, my everybody else in my house is going out of town, so I gotta go fly back and take care of my little boy. I gotta say, I'm absolutely amazed that you didn't just like throw it in the car with you. I mean, I, I, no, seriously, to bring the animal out here. We're, we're, LA is a city of animal. Yeah. What? Why 1,200 is that? miles? You would put a, a six month old puppy in a car for 1,200 Hell miles? Yeah. Oh. He we, would not have liked we, that. No, no, no. He, <laughs> he does this thing where he jumps on everyone and he'll pee on you. Yes. Oh, okay, then that would be bad. He, he be, pees everywhere. It would be terrible. It's, I took him to the park and he peed on three girls. It was bad. I didn't get Puppy any dates that night. not being a good wingman on that one. No. <laughs> Just, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> You know, you're in rock though. Like, you should be peeing on them yourselves. I'm right. You know, I'm not gonna use. I was gonna segue I into something. I thought that was rappers. You know. No, no. Yeah. You remember? Isn't, that, okay, isn't we that the R. Kelly thing? Remember that band <laughs> when they came in here? It's a verb. Now. Yes. And they told us about all those girls they would piss on all the time. Like, that's it became right. a contest between them for like who could piss on the most girls in a night. I have. So like, you guys, that. um, you know, you still got youngness <laughs> and pureness to you. Like, do you uh, have you ever put uh, a groupie through the paces? <laughs> We've talked oh, about man. it. Uh, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> We've definitely no, talked about no, it. <laughs> it. It would be mean to talk about it. You're right. That'd be very ungentlemanly. Yeah. You know, but we did hear a funny story about, you know, it's relative to peeing on something to teach it a lesson. You know? Sure. Yeah. We've, uh, yeah. Let's um, let's get let's find out what that is. Well, um, I'll let you tell it <laughs> since you know it. What am I doing? This, what story? story How many stories do you have about peeing Which on story? things? There, there, was a, there was a guy that caught a crocodile. No, oh, God. no, oh, no! God. I'm not telling that story. No, that was on. That no. was on the. You can look it up on a website in Florida. <laughs> Supposedly, okay. a man got Florida. really so angry out of Florida. Yeah, because an alligator place? tried to eat him. Yeah, and so he hogtied it and pursued it for a week. He, yeah, to teach it a lesson. To yeah. That was Whoa. his. Yeah. So. I hope that it learned everything that it could. I, and, you know, <laughs> I think it was the, traumatized by the end the of that. the other crocodiles. It had to go to the sanctuary. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I, I, I hope the, the, the alligator's uh, offspring gets vengeance on the human for that. That's kind of fucked up. He went to jail, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. yeah. Oh. There's some Good crazy boy. people out there. Not, not us. We don't do that. No, 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 because no, <laughs> Texas. There's nothing crazy about Texas. Southern gentlemen. Of course not. Never. Right. Yeah, we are true down. Southern gentlemen. Right. Um, hey, uh, we're going to go to our last commercial break of the day, though. Um, so on, like, our last segment, we just kind of fucked around and talked about some weird shit. Are you guys cool sticking around for one more? Yeah. yeah. That's right. cool. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to come back on the other side, and we're going to do our normal holiday nonsense. So um, come back on the other side and, um, you know, get the lotion ready. I'm Money B, and you can kiss my ass. Let me swallow my snot. <laughs> that's that's sexy. Keep up the good work, mild net. Ne- oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how I'm gonna come and check out. No, I love you. Oh yeah, why no cyclocyana bin the little. <laughs> 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 Always switching up. Always switching up. Oh, yeah. My wedding band jumped out of my. Oh my god, I hope it's on Omen. Call my wife. He keeps doing away. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Schneider, and you're watching T Hollywood V. Z Hollywood T. Z! bang. <laughs> Nail that. And I'm Nicole, and we're the ladies of Suicide, Suicide Girls, Girls Radio, Radio, the world's leading BYOB radio show. Pour a glass of your favorite tipple and tune in on Wednesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. as we discuss life, liberty, and the pursuit of free nipples. 
I'd just flash it would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? People think flashing your tits is easy, right? And it's actually kind of hard. <laughs> you ran from home and you're on the street. You've been ripped off, you've been used, and you could be killed. There is a way out. There is a way off the street. Not tomorrow, but now. Runaway Hotline will get you off the street. Call Runaway Hotline, toll free, anytime, day or night. Runaway Hotline gets your message to those who care. Call now and get off the street. All right, guys, 626-379-6119. They will help uh, teenage girls get off the street. Has, the, has the, the phone line been lighting up a lot this week? I've got a few calls this week. Good, good. I've got a few calls. I'm glad, I'm glad that, we can, we can, that, that uh, Grand Theft Audio can do something. Monday for night, I was able to head out and run a rescue mission. Good. Um, I got there. Uh, apparently, the girl thought better of it by the time I left. But, you know, that's, she still reached out and wanted some help. Sought some help. Good. So, good. I'm running a runaway hotline. Hey, no girl left uh, behind, right? Not right. by me. Not by me. <laughs> <laughs> I got money for Taco Bell and like a cot. So like <laughs> everything will be just fine. All right, this is Jake Belcher back here on uh, Grand Theft Audio on Zeno.tv. Uh, as you guys know, uh, we like to deal with um, holidays. Holidays indeed. So today is the 17th of August. What are we supposed to be celebrating today, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, it is um, I Love My Feet Day. Yeah, feet. That's a, yeah, that's feet. a weird yeah. one, right? Feet. Yeah. Um, There's a day, we've, what, we've come across two days so far uh, throughout the 365 in which we have not actually had something, <laughs> some kind of recognition or holiday or an awareness, something that we're supposed to know every single day. But we do have this wonderful list. There's, what else there, there's five holidays today. Sweet. Okay, so there's, um, there's I Love My Feet Day. Okay. There's Black Cat Appreciation Day. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. My birthday's be, Halloween, so I really like that. Sure. I mean, yeah. I, Kind of surprised that Halloween isn't the Black Cat Appreciation Day as well, I or think, a holiday. I think people do mean things to the Black Cats on Halloween, though. Probably. Oh, so that's that doesn't sound uh, particularly. What else good. we got? Uh, we've got Birth Control Pill Day. <laughs> the, the 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 pleasure of not having to pull out. I mean, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, Everyone loves that. That's Everyone incredible. Uh, that, that, that's incredible. Like, who doesn't want that? Uh, what else <laughs> we have going on today? National Thrift Shop Day. Yeah, you know that, that's probably. Does a good that place mean to everybody get, like, blares Macklemore right? at the top of the, sure. you know, sure. their stereo in the car and booms it down the road? Sure. Have you, have on their way to the thrift shop so that yeah. they could pop some Talking tags? Talking about man. pop, yeah, popping those tags and grandpa's sneakers, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Have any of you guys uh, found any real good thrift, thrift store treasures in your life? I found a skeet blanket once. A skeet blanket? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, I, I, like, I did. You, you find got a blanket's worth? Like, I no, got a towel's worth. I did find a mechanic suit that was like like this weird seafoam green mm -hmm. and I ended up using it as a racing suit and then turned into a Michael Myers outfit for Halloween. Oh, so sure. that was wow. kind of That's a natural progression for it. Three dollars. Can't beat that. No. There's, Dickies. There's, al there's always great prices on the on the thrift stuff. Always. Uh, how about you, Brant? Have you ever gotten oh, like, a good thrift sure. store? Oh, sure. I've, I've picked up a couple of awesome uh, pea coats and uh, of course added to the Hawaiian shirt collection from the thrift shop. So. Yeah, you always want to go check out the coat section when you go there. I do. You got this thing about like um, used coats, I think. I just like good looking coats, and I found some good ones there. Yeah, you're right. What about you? Anything ever good from the uh, thrift shop? I don't know, man. Like, um, I I've gone there for like Halloween costumes. Sure. I'll be like, I'm gonna be a dumb looking golfer or <laughs> something, and I'll be go there and I'll find the dumbest clothes I can or something. But find some silly hats sitting on the shelf somewhere. Okay, you're right. I did get a hat that I loved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was like this 1970s like jean pimp hat. And I can think of something else. You you uh, you picked up some bandanas. From the thrift shop. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but but they, they weren't used bandanas. Yes, they were. No, no, no. That that kerchief that you got from the cut from the Cub Scouts that was, was a brand used, new. that was not brand new. Okay, but it was like um You know it said nineteen eighty something on the on it. It was engraved on there. Okay. It's embroidered. But, but this was like in their in their section at front where they have like their nice new things, you know? Sure. Wasn't new. I can't. Maybe a child wore it. And right. I said, who cares if it's used? Why does it really bother you that someone <laughs> might have? I don't want to wear like a little kid's clothes, man. Like um, it's, that's how they it's caught a me last time. That, that's how they caught you. I'm last not, not time. caught. Yeah. Accused. <laughs> Wrongly. Right. Never mind. Allegedly. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. What else we have today? Uh, we have two. Uh, the meaning of is day. 
Okay, it's, you know what the meaning... Is this is this the day that that speech was made? Yes. Okay, Brent, the, explain what this means. The, the famous uh, Bill Clinton speech in which they were talking about whether he had had sex with Monica Lewinsky or not. And uh. the, the word... Well, it all depends on how the, you define what the word is. Is you so? What does the what is the meaning of the word, word is? Yeah. <laughs> like that was a legal fucking defense, man. Like legal fucking. Defense. What do we got coming up this week? Oh, okay. It is a uh, mail order bride day. Is that today or that tomorrow? Yes. Have you ever fantasized about having a mail order bride? Not at all. I thought it'd be so okay. So I never fantasized about it until I got a real one. Because, like, the real one has, like, rights and stuff. You got a real one? I got a real wife. Oh, yeah. that's even better. I know. Wait, so, so she the, wasn't the, the mail-order. Guys no, 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 I have a real wife who, like, um... I thought you meant you had a real mail-order wife. We did know a guy <laughs> who had a mail-order <laughs> yes. wife. But, like, I've actually um, met a couple of guys, and I, I've just never thought it was a good idea. Oh, man, like, like, that. Like, can oh you imagine you get that package at the door? You're like, <laughs> That'd be <"Nom>, great. Nom, <laughs> nom, 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 nom. This guy would go crazy. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it because she's wearing white? No, I, n- I need a FedEx box. Oh sure. Ah oh, okay. Very, he see, likes the uh, bubble wrap. Uh, the FedEx wrap. fetishist. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. But the idea of like a wife that has no rights. I mean, <laughs> sounds wonderful. Oh. At least to me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like maybe like the garage wife. She wouldn't be like the housewife, but she would be like <laughs> the garage wife. You know, like, I, I I probably said too much. <laughs> like, yes. That didn't actually happen, you know. Like um. <laughs> Didn't actually happen. Okay, what else we have going on this week? We've also got um, International Orangutan Day. That's a thing. Yes. Okay, it's not. It's not even America's celebration of it. It's International Orangutan. The world is. We're supposed to so celebrate uh, Mexican orangutans, Spanish what, orangutans. What does that mean? Yeah. How, are you how do you entail? How do you celebrate a Spanish or? Yeah. Brent, uh, do the dance. I don't have an orangutan dance. Then I have no that idea. Was, that was Carl. He had I the orangutan. I have no idea how we're supposed to celebrate it. I guess we say... Um, you dress up like one, paint yourself orange, and walk around the street like... Pull out your tits and pull them paper thin. You watch <laughs> the Jungle Book and you appreciate the I Want to Be Like You song. Okay, so you that go. makes I, more sense. I, okay, uh, side note. I did watch the Jungle Book this week, the, <laughs> the brand new the one. The new one with Bill Murray? Um, I can't believe, A, uh, what a piece of shit it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill Murray's terrible in it. And B, that they're already making a new one. Yeah. Like um, Andy Serkis, that guy who was like the the monkey in um, Planet of the Monkeys. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, he's coming back to be um, like all the animals at once. He's just gonna circus all over it. Great. I'm not sure what, what to say about it. It's a metaphor. I heard Walken was pretty good in it. Christopher Walken, um, who yeah, played he Louis. Okay. He was okay. Okay, I'm just gonna take a, pick one more random one, and this is like a, how we'll end our show today. Uh, Brent, actually, you say stop. Stop. I know. I'm. I the second time. Stop. Okay. Uh, it is um, National Relaxation Day. I like nice. That, that is that a one. great day. Sure, wait, 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 what day does that day. land on? Uh, that is on uh, Saturday is National Relaxation Saturday the 20th. Day. All right, National so, Relaxation Day. Um, so go out there and find some way to relax, guys. I think a great way to do it would be to head to TwinSages.net and um, go through there, and you can find uh, some music, and you can find uh, lots of other things. And, uh, oh, yeah. So they should do. Everyone go have sex with each other and listen to our music. Well, uh, you heard it here first, folks. Have lots of sex and listen to Twin Sages. Slash yeah. take us on tour. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That, we'll, we'll try to make that happen. Uh, do you guys have like a Twitter or any of that jazz? We do. We do. We do have a Twitter. What is the Twitter, though? You Twin Sages Band. All right. Okay. So go out there. Follow that. We have our Instagram also, which is just Twin Sages. And your MySpace page? Oh, God. Oh, oh, come on. I'm just oh, that's a low blow. That's old school. How dare you, sir? I know. No one has MySpace anymore. Take it back. Yes, I do. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> I just don't check Apologize. it very regularly. Apologize. I shall not. Apologize to our guest. I will not. He's not listening to Good what I'm day. saying today. Like, I need a mail, ho- mail order co-host. There you go. You know, one one has, with no rights. One with no Mwah. rights. You know, that's, that's what I need to make happen. Uh, as always, we appreciate you guys uh, following in here at uh, Grand Theft Audio. Uh, Brent, do you have anything you want to pimp out? No, not at all. Not this week. Yeah. Um, what about hey, you? What do you got going on? Okay. Oh, I know what you want to go to. Uh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go to um, – you're going to go to jakesshow.com and learn everything there. Uh, I think that we may have a break at the end, a, a show at the end of this, but I do have something I want to recommend. Some fucking asshole has gone down to, like, India or something and is teaching children how to, um, like, speak English. And there's this video they've put up called, like, um, you know, Indian Children Learning English. Uh, it's really long, but I cut it down to like the best 90 seconds of it. So just watch this, and then like uh, later go watch the rest of it. So uh, the shit's hilarious. All right, we'll uh, catch other you next that, week. Uh, catch you guys next week. Guns N' Roses this weekend with the cult. Gonna be awesome. Yeah.
Ha, 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 ha.